Welcome back to an episode. We are going to the base, but before we're going to do some side missions in this area. Be our cause. Oh, and also we're going to level up a little bit because important. Uh, let's ah, oh, so close. Right, let's teleport to. Uh, come on, there we go. It's not this one. It uh, could be this one. The first little missile. There we go. So, this dude is supposed to find his little brothers or something. Ash. Vanished into ash. I saw a revenant being attacked by the lost. I tried to help, but it was too late. He died and was turned to ash. I didn't know there were some deaths we couldn't come back from. The loss that killed that Revenant went straight up that way. I want to avenge that Revenant, but I can't. Knowing I could die has me too scared to fight. It should be up ahead a bit. That hmm. Up ahead a bit. How much a bit? That is actually a large bit. Uh, forward and to the right. Good. Uh, let's take this while we're at it. Nice. What is it? Something we can use? Is this at least some queen steel? No. Lost shards. The metal you only get from larger enemy. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. That one always backfires. Uh, there we go. Quite literally. Right, and back. Uh, I, want to, I just want to pick up the item. Come on. Ah, whatever. Back attack. Oh, yeah. What the? Right. I definitely need an item weapon in this case, rather. That has a more roundabout swing like this one. Let's see. It's much faster. Really? That was not intended, by the way. So, then there's another one that usually drops down sometimes. Good. And... Exactly that way. Now let's set him fire. Good. Perfect, 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 perfect. Let's go back to the missile. I think it is. We still have a little icon left. And there it is. See, look at that. You avenged that revenant? I see. Thanks again. You really are strong. Not only in battle, but in spirit, too. Here, I want you to have this. It's medicine that's supposed to make revenants stronger. They say it's risky for weaker revenants to use, so it's likely to do me more harm than good right now. I'll still work to become a strong, upstanding revenant like you. Hey. You've helped me out more times than I can count. The only thing on my mind has been defending myself from those huge horrors. But maybe real strength isn't used for oneself, but in service of others. I want to be strong enough to lend a hand to other revenants, just like you. I've been in your debt from the beginning, so let me pay you back one day, okay? You've helped me out the only maybe. Okay. Now, what does this thing unlock? Uh, complete attention. Could be like a scanner for enemies or items around you or whatnot. Uh, is this a uh, passive? Uh, or is this more like an active? There. Hitting with a charge drain will grant focus. Ooh. Hitting with a charge. The problem is charging the drain up, right? There's never enough time for you to do that. And the only way that actually works out well enough is uh, back attacks. Hmm. Guarding enemies attacks. Uh, this one just improves the drain rating, but it, it does not drain anything. <laughs> ah, 
that's the other issue that we have. Anyway, uh, this one is maxed out. The other stuff is maxed out. Uh, uh, could there be more that we have to learn? I do not think so. I actually have to check that on the blunt code right now. Because then I can just switch it. Let's see. It's my own stuff. Yeah, that one is maxed out completely. Perfect. And that means I can... Uh... uh, uh yeah, let's go for the fighter, though. Oh, wait a minute. We can acquire all of those gifts. Yes. Max Ico boost. Increase the maximum amount of Ico that can be held. Minded willpower. That's good. Creates a blade of highly pressurized sand from the ground that knocks away foes. That's good. Blades of sand that covers... Uh, converge on the target and explode. Same thing. Nimbus to sacrifice HP to use gifts when you have run out of Ico. That's nice. But I want something that regenerates my alcohol, not something like that increases gift speed for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Uh, 30... I think I can go with two 36s in this case. And this one. What's up? Right. But... I do need myself uh, this thing here. The fighter. Okay. No, let's equip some stuff. Uh, obviously, we have to go with the standard thing. Uh, spoil spotter and the missile teleport. Just because it's easy and convenient. So, and then... Uh, which button was it? V. Ha! Huh. That's not the thing I was looking for. Uh, there we go. This one. Focused stamina usage. So it's a passive... Passive, 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 this thing. Reduce stamina spent while you are focused. Uh, helps a little bit. But I just need strength bonuses like this one and that one. What about this one? Health booster, not necessarily needed. It's just 150 with that much health right now. Absolutely not an issue. Now, increase the amount of focus gained by receiving damage. There we go. That's a good one. And then, of course, we have to check... Blood God, yeah, blood God, blood God, blood God, blood God. Where is this thing? It looks like this, but that. There we go. Temporarily creates a barrier around you and your partner that boosts blood resistance. Oh, sweet. Uh, resistance is usually like done there. There we go. And this is more like a damage bonus for the fire, and that can be I don't know, like some. Shoots a series of electric projectiles that bombard foes. That, uh, that sounds like a funny thing to use. Alright, a triple annihilate we can keep. What about this stat thing though? Uh, strength is actually the thing that's good. Yeah, look at the weapon. It, why can we... Like the base mobility is normal. Obviously. And then you have a somewhat decent weight limit. And makes it possible to use slightly larger weapons. It's amazing. I think, yeah, the Berserker was the thing that is even faster than that, I think. Yeah, even higher weight, but you know, the base mobility is slow, of course. Uh, so that one is not going to work. Hmm. You need a, like, quick um, base mobility with high enough weight limit so you can turn a slow weapon into a fast one. Like this one here. Ah, huh? No, wait. Still kind of weird though. Weight limit. Uh, just because of the weight limit, it goes slow. This is iffy. This is so iffy. Okay, 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 okay. Mm. Let's see, what else do we have though? Is that like. Or maybe a normal one with an extra ordinarily high. There we go, another quick thing. But the weight limit is far too low. That's why everything else gets slower as well. That's something we do not want. That one for some reason is normal. But it has extremely high numbers of uh, weight limit, that's why. Look at that. 250? 250 almost. But wait a minute. Why is that one normal and that one is normal? It's kind of weird. Everything in here is normal. 
Strange. Strange, 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 strange. That is so weird. Maybe you can find a good one, though. Maybe you can find a good one. Right. Uh, we keep the fighter so that we can unlock some things. Oh, no. The Venus Claw doesn't work. Uh, that's not good. So, I do need... What now? Mm, something with a very high amount of damage would be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually quite good. Uh, what else we have, though? That one makes it slower. Slower, slower, slower. That's like normal and quick because we don't actually wear that. Uh, normal and normal. Actually, yeah, normal and normal. That's good. That's like slow. That's nothing. That's normal and normal. Let's take that one. See how the other ones actually perform. Uh, that one is high gift stuff. That's good. Lesser drain damage though. I'm gonna keep that one. Don't see numbers change in a significant way, though. <laughs> Ugh, come on. Yeah, that one is quick and easy. That one's quick and easy. That one does a little bit more damage, but come on. Right. We're just going to keep that the way it is right now. Now I can attack a little quicker. And we're going to check some other areas for quests and the like. Haven't found any... There we go. Let's check the falling flames thing from the front to the back and then we should have it any minute now any minute now and there is nothing here which is good because i don't like this area no we don't want to go into the storage uh, this one Where's the guy that needed the documents? Is that quest finished? Was there more still to come? Phew, we were in there. Let's go to the Frozen Souls thing. Any minute now. Any minute. Maybe it even changes twice, so... Mm, nope, nothing here, thank God. Then there are the memories, but actually, what if the memories do change as well? I hope not. So they kind of remind me of the uh, magical area that's always in these Souls games. It's the one in the paintings most of the time. All right, it's like a completely se separate environment, and that one. Do 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 Right, I think here. And there could be stuff in there down there again. No. Hmm. Actually, my expectation is that there's no more quests in here because we already did them. At one point, it has to stop with a quest, because you're uh, just teleporting around areas, and I hope that there's a quest there. I don't like that. <laughs> I mean, it's okay if you go there and grind a little bit, and... Oh, 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 there's more. Look at that. And... Okay, and uh, the boss missile. Let's see... Uh, oh, no. Hmm. It's the one that needs the, 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 the activated missile thing, but I do not know how. With activated missile, we could keep... Yeah, with activated missile... It could be an item. I don't think so. 
And I also don't think that I missed a missile uh, to activate. It's more like... It might be a missile that you can activate in the... Uh, uh, in depths. And once you activate that, with. you can continue his little mission. Uh, but I have activated all of them right now, so that means we need to activate another map. I don't have the other map yet, so... Where do we get that? As a reward for another quest? Maybe. Mm. Alright, that one is done for now. That means we are going to teleport to home base. That's the thing, you have to teleport all over the place. Just to get your OCD up and running. <laughs> So, it's honestly, okay. I want to jump right in. Yeah, I'll lead the way. Do we Just have any more? Going. No, the depths are a complex of open. Yes, 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 yes. And what about you? I thought I'd never see Jack again. Thank you. I'm Eva Rue, successor of the Relic of the Throat and Watcher of the Relics. I'll be staying here for a while, so let me know if you need help with your exploration. Jack told me about you. He said your actions in Operation Queenslayer were exemplary, and he's grateful for your service. He looked happy to be fighting at your side again, even if he'll never admit it. You've helped me more than you can know. From now on, I'll be here to contribute with exploration. Just say the word if you ever need a hand out there. Compatibility with relics can be rated. Better ratings are more stable, have less risk of mutation, and can use more power. That's why it's important for Jack and I to act as watchers of the relics. You must have high compatibility too, since you carry the relic of the blood. Jack told me about you. He said you're he looked happy. Hmm. Interesting. Understood. So yeah, let's test her, alright? I thought maybe the world inside the mist was all that was left after the Great Collapse. Knowing that there's still a world outside is... a bit of a relief. But if we stop now, the people living in that world will also be in danger. We cannot let that happen. Friends, it feels funny using such a sentimental word like that in our current situation. But now I understand just how difficult having friends can be. Thinking about them, getting mad, or worried, or amused. It's so much busier than when it was just the two of us. But the funny thing is, it just feels right to me. I don't think I've ever experienced that before. Well, now you know how I am, but it's good to be here. Nicola guided me when I was feeling lost. <laughs> he sure did grow- Alright, that text is not new anymore. Nido thinks even the relics are nothing more than specimens to experiment with. Whatever he plans, it'll only lead to more chaos. We'll catch him this time, right? Now we know that the Red Mist was created to protect the world outside. But that leaves those of us inside to pay for everything. And that doesn't sit right with me. Well, with the Lost and the relics and everything, there may have been no other choice. I've been depending on you for everything. I'll try to take on whatever I can to ease your burden. Don't forget Jack's warning. I don't want to be in a situation where I have to stop you by force. Now we know that the red mist was... But that leaves the... Thanks to everyone's hard work, I can offer new weapons. Buying something? Hmm. Nothing that new, though. Anyway. A blood veil is a revenant's bang. They're used to stab into a foe and drain the blood out of them. While you attack, dodge, and parry, you can use that blood to unleash powerful effects. There are a few different types of blood veils. You should use the type that best fits your style. Do you know about hot springs? Work. I've got a whole new line of stock in, thanks to my Herculean efforts. But seriously? Most humans live under the governments with the some people. The thirst. Oh, Luckily, you have right. We got that one. If you want it, 
I got it. Hmm, what does she have there? Just iron. The steel gets unlocked at a later point. I don't know if she can get titanium all the time. I do not think that. Uh, some stuff always has to be, like, farmable. Or has to. Go out there. Is. <laughs> it doesn't have to be that way. Just say. What is it? Right, now, let's see. Do we need to restore some facility? So we get A, B, and C. Let's see. D, E, F. Right. Three more to go. And that scout stuff from the depths. I have found a purpose. I will give form to mm. What about those two now? I don't think we have any time to waste. I think we have enough time to waste. The red mist appeared without any warning when the queen fell. It trapped all the revenants like a giant cage. Many people thought it was divine retribution for breaking the laws of nature. But it illustrates the power of the relics. Maintaining it must have required a tremendous amount of blood beads. In any case, if that mist is to protect the outside world, then I will make sure it stays standing. I can't leave Cruz to bear the weight of my mistake. I have to stop it, even at the cost of my own life. I have to. The red mist appeared with many people thought... I have to thank you again for what you did for Eva. So... You can make other people's power your own by taking on their blood codes. You'll need strength for the battles ahead. I'll lend you mine. Take it. Heimdall. Interesting. Specialized in highly aggressive melee combat, but its weight allowance is extremely low. It's a bit late for introductions, but my name is Jack Rutherford. We'll be fighting together for a while. It's nice to meet you. Stopping Mito with our current means will be impossible. We've already lost contact with the fortress. I don't know what we'll have to deal with. We'll need to be careful and react quickly to whatever we encounter. The Jail of the Mists lets nothing go. The barrier that isolates us was made with the Relic of the Brain, the strongest of all relics, and a sacrifice of countless blood beads. That shows how big a threat the Queen and we Revenants are to the world. You don't have to accept it, but you do need to understand it. The current successors are weakening, and since there are few replacements, some reach their limits. That's why Eva took on multiple relics. But their power caused her to suffer more and more. Then you came along, the one who drained blood from the Queen. We thought you were dead. Your affinity is high, and you have the power to calm the relics. You're exactly what I was hoping for. That's why I tried to take you on at the Cathedral of the Sacred Blood. I have to thank you again for what you did. Stopping Mito with our... Right. Uh, put a stop to Mado's spot. Investigate Crown of Sand. Hmm. Investigate Crown of Sand. But we do know what we need what to do. It? So, let's see. Let's restore some messages. Um. Hoi. Interesting. Looks as if we you do not need now? to restore Heimdall's Take stuff. Care. Let's just check out his abilities. Also, does she have to Mito say anything has else? no right to play with the relics to serve his own twisted desires. Compatibility with relics can be rated. Hmm. Honestly, I want to. Ah, uh, no, he doesn't have any more maps. Right, uh, let's check uh, the gear. It's the one with Heimdall. There we go. That one is like three out of six and one out of eight. All of them unlocked already. Well, available. Um. Unlocked, not so much. Wraps your body in a cloak of fog like blood, making it harder to be detected. Uh huh. But it's a light ability. Very interesting. Severing Abyss. Sleep and slam down with all your might. An offensive skill performed with one handed sword, halberd, uh, halberd, or bayonet. It's kind of strange that the halberd and the bayonet, which are held in two hands most of the time, and the one handed weapon are considered one and the same thing. It's kind of weird. <laughs> I mean, the double hammer, definitely. Uh, the double sword, uh, not so much because uh, it's weird. 
Uh, reduces the number of times regeneration can be used, but increases the amount healed. Hmm. I mean, this is an interesting passive. It's an interesting trade-off. So if you are tanky enough that you know you can survive, but the amount of regeneration is just not enough every time you do regenerate. You just need more if you get hit, right? So this is something for better play um, if you have a decent amount of health already. So, because in the end it's just a matter of time uh, every time you heal and whatnot. Increases maximum stamina, great. And uh, what's this? Moral boost. Increase maximum stamina of you and your partner and full restores both your stamina. Oh, that is cool. That means more attacking and more running. Oh, this is amazing. Uh, I just do not know for how long this one will be active, but it's a decent one. Increases dexterity and fortitude. Good. Uh, fortitude was like health and stuff. I have to check that one again. Uh, increase the speed of charged actions. Oh, this is good. Especially if you have two-handed swords. What's this one? Sacrificial, sacrificial edge. Greatly increases attack power, but drains HP over time. Hmm. Makes sense with this one. So you heal yourself, you attack. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We cannot unlock anything at the moment. Um, where is this one? Base mobility is quick. Right, it's like 55 weight limit. Why is another one that's quick? Let's just compare this one right now. Yeah, 58. What's this one? High fortitude, high dexterity. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Like, f f yeah, that's vitality and fortitude. Uh, let's see. Stats, 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 stats. I don't know what the difference between the two is. Affects HP and physical damage reduction. Oh, so that's that. Is that another physical damage reduction? Physical attack and drain. Affects physical attack and HP. So yeah, strength and vitality is good. Uh, fortitude. Affects stamina. Ah. And elemental resistance. Hmm. So there's like physical damage reduction, elemental resistance. Also elemental resistance. Affects stamina, drain speed, and like it. Okay, so you definitely need mind for more stamina. You need fortitude. And I'm actually looking for like physical defense. Like there's elemental resistance, then there's another elemental resistance. But that doesn't seem to be physical defense, special one. Or maybe because there's like... Hmm. Maybe because you can guard. That could be a reason why. Eh, whatever. Before we continue though on the world out there, we're definitely going to teleport around a little bit. And our way forward is, of course, at the uh, boss environment. But I have a slight suspicion that there's another side mission that just unlocked. And the answer is, of course, no. Oh, she has a bayonet. Interesting. So let's test her out in combat. See how much damage she does. Are you sure I'm going in? I do want to switch her mask though, like this one looks a wee bit ugly. But... That was a lot of damage. Just saying. There's another one. Like, look at that. You can just knock... Well, if she does the normal bayonet attacks, then of course she's not doing that much damage. But the- there we go! The blood thingy. Uh, that's the thing I was talking about. Uh, but there's another guy, come on. I want her to do the blood shot. Come on, do the blood shot, do the blood shot. Yeah. Okay, that was- there we go. So if she does the block shot, the enemy immediately dies, pretty much. Hmm, the only problem with Eva is that her normal damage is not that high. 
the normal auto attacks with the bayonet. That's everything. I should try to use Jack as a. Ooh. No, wait, four is not good. Uh, and you're like two. Wait, wait. Ah, it's more like a shot. Ah! More like a shotgun. Yeah. If it's a shotgun, then that basically means I have to get very close to the enemy. And once I do, they're toast. They are dead. Carefully dead, descend. dead. And. Oh, wait. So, righty. Oh, no, I cannot teleport back. You can only. Oh. No, only, no, nothing. This area is not cool. The fact You're that it drains cool. your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Now, what about the... Ooh. Won't take much longer. And then the fighter is fully restored. I just do another enemy run around here. And then it should be enough. Then I can choose another one. And max that one out. It's actually pretty neat. So. Oh. Well, that is something that shouldn't have happened. <laughs> uh, that was bad. Really, really, really bad. And back attack. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Good. So sometimes they get you condensed stuff and... Oh, okay. There it is. Look, the same as the environment. There. Okay. How many more turns does he have? It's not a bay bite. Okay, that's that one. Okay, shotgun, go. And not quite. So, and we maxed it out. Oh, oh. oh that's weird. I got it. We shouldn't stay here long. The sand here tastes for blood. Nah, the sand is okay. Well, actually, yes. Like I core has something to do with the blood veil and the blood codes because it enables abilities that come with the blood codes. So I core and blood. Hmm. Strange, 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 strange. But I think I could go to home base, level up the weapon again, because I got one or two queen titanium, and that means the big sword can be leveled up as well. Which is perfect. Like this one and one normal level up, of course. Don't forget to check. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you want to upgrade? Uh, that one. Uh, <laughs> uh. Uh, it's really close. Like, why would you want to change my hand to intensification if it does not actually deal more damage? I do not know that. The scaling is different. Yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. Um. Uh, strength B and D. Okay. And this one is B and E. So, the damage on the other Zwyander would be greater if I would improve my dexterity as well. Then the scaling would be higher. Then it could, maybe. Turn around a little bit. Mm, but there's an awful lot of maybes in there. Which blood veil do you and I do upgrade? not like that many maybes. Make sure you say. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. If you want it, I got it. Nah. 19 and uh, no. go out there and give it to him yes give it to me good right so here we got that one done uh that one is maxed out that one is maxed out that one is maxed out that eternal blade thing cannot be acquired then hunting feast and blood sacrifice that's the next one with a hunter all right uh, what's this Let's change the binding mark to something else. Uh, 
Oh boy. It's an active. Okay. Uh, blood sacrifice and hunting feast. Blood sacrifice and hunting feast. Blood sacrifice and hunting feast. This one temporarily increase the drain rating of weapon attacks. Sure, that's that. And uh, that one. What is this? Oh, fatal surge. Gift with whom? Check. And this one is Eva. Nice. But I wanted this one to be the teleport. And the other one was something, something vitality. I'm just looking for the icon. There we go. Spends your own HP to gain icon. Yeah. Hmm. I don't like that because how am I going to get HP back afterwards? It only works if you can use Icor and then HP, but you cannot actually heal yourself in here. It does not work. Not like that. Okay. Uh, what about the stats on this thing? It's like C, B for that. Okay. Dexterity and willpower, but that means that the Zweihander is not dealing enough damage. It lost like 200. That's crazy. I should rather use like, yeah, I should rather use this one for the uh, dark gifts and whatnot. Let's see, uh, uh, it's like better light things. 800, what? 700, ah, black blood liberator. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Upar A, that's cool. Let's take that one. And uh, wasn't there another? Yeah, Suicide Spur. That one also has willpower A. Eh? And it does even more damage. It's there, what? Okay, what's the difference? This is like 35. This one is 49. Why would you want to go with Black Blood Liberator? What does it do more? It has high venom resistance, inhibition, and slow resistance. And uh, that's it. The other defenses are close enough to be ignorable. The drain rating is better, though. But the drain only comes from the drain attack, and we don't do drain attacks that much. The white vestment. Ah, that one is cool. It looks nice. <laughs> it's really pure, kind of like a like a like a One Piece general or something. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Whatever. Suicide spur. Let's see. Want to know how it looks like? Oh yeah, and at least one level up. Nice. We're almost ninety. Sweet. Now then. Reminds me of Eva's thing, just with a little bit more thorns. 1,000-ish kind of damage. Right. Uh, what did it do again, this ability? Uh, hunting feast. Yada, 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 yada. I don't know. Forgot it. <laughs> right. So, let's see. Can we at least... 1,600. Okay. 3,000. Okay. 1,000 for this thing. That's cool. And a 2 eye call. Alright. And that's 6. Meaning that if I use the other one 3 times, it does the same amount of damage. What about this one? Also 5, but less damage. So I should use the, 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 the other burning thingy. But every time I attack, I get at least... Wow. Okay, I get two thingies back. Uh, another plus two. The thing is, it's it's an AOE drain rating. Uh, plus three. Let's try this again. Hoi. What? Wait. What? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, depending on where it stands, sometimes it's free, sometimes it's four, but it's at least free and a little bit. Yeah, free and a little bit. Pretty interesting, pretty interesting. What about heavy attacks? Free, very nice. A normal heavy attack. Wait a minute. Okay. It's one and a half rotations. And sometimes it's two. Okay. The next one is like... Yeah, one and a half. If I do just normal attacks, it does two similar amounts, right? It... Wait, what? Okay, wait. 
That's weird. It feels as if this actually gives me more, uh, more stuff. That's weird. And that's sadly the only one that improves that. Oh, wait a minute. It improves the maximum amount, right? It improves the maximum. It does not get lower. Oh, it improves both the maximum and the current one. Interesting. So what you can do before boss fights is to use an awful lot of drain attacks so that you improve the maximum icor that you can get. And once you are in the boss fight area, um, you should have an overcharged icor mount and use this for abilities and everything else and just use it on the bosses. Like normal enemies don't need icor to be defeated, to be honest. The normal attacks and the companions are enough this to work anyway before we continue and explore the other environment we're going to end this little episode the next time then like and subscribe as usual and uh, ta-ta